Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys um, an answer to a question that I got in one of my videos. Uh, the video was how to combine data from multiple sheets onto one sheet. So uh, the question was, what about doing this in reverse? I have a master sheet and I want to break it up into different sheets. Okay, so if I click on the link in my video, then you can make a copy of the document that I had. And what this doc did was it had separate tabs for each month. So a January tab, a February tab, and a March tab. And then we combined it into one master tab using a formula. Now the question she had was, what if I wanna do this in reverse? I start with a master tab and I wanna break it up by month. So this is really easy to do. And let me just show you guys quickly how to do it. Um, you're gonna start a new tab. I'll call this January new. And then you'll type in equals query. I'm going to select all of the data that I have. Oops, 14. And then comma, quotation, select. I'm going to say asterisk for all. I can do A, comma, B, whoops, A, comma, B, C, D if I want to as well. But asterisk is all. Select all where A equals in single apostrophes, I'm going to type in January and then close it out with a parentheses. And once I do that, it's gonna pull in all the data where column A has the word January in it. I can duplicate this very easily and just change the word January to February and it's gonna be really simple. Um, so this is how you would do it. I'd recommend that instead of going to D14, for example, you just go all the way to the end of D. And then what you should do is also add another clause, always, that says, and A is not null. Um, so what this will do is if you have extra data, um, if you have data like down here, like it's not gonna bring in any, um, any data that's any empty columns, right? So. That's just a little tip for you. Um, but this is how it would work. Um, and this is only gonna work if you have like a column called month or something and you have the actual month name in here, which is not very common. I'm not sure why I did it this way. Um, but most of the time you'll always, you'll only have like a date column, right? So let's say we're talking specifically about dates and how you wanna only grab certain, um, certain dates into this new sheet, right? So let's say we don't have a column like that. So what you would do in this case, it's a bit more complicated, but still pretty easy. Highlight all of this data, and then you would hit select, asterisk, where. Now this time, instead of referencing this column, column A, now we wanna do it by the date, so column B, where B is going to be greater or equal to, I wanna put greater or equal to January 1st, and where B is um, less than or equal to the last day of January, which is January 31st. But the thing about the query formula is that you can't just type in the date. I can't just type in, you know, 1311-2018. I have to use a special format. So I have a sheet called, what well, I call things, just a bunch of random notes. But this is, I always copy this, and I'll share with you guys that text too. It's really, really helpful. So I'm gonna paste in what I just pasted in, add a space to it. Um, now it says where B is greater or equal to date. This calls it out to the query formula that it's a date. Now where I put A1 is where I'm going to type in the actual date in quotation marks. So I'm gonna follow this format, 0, 18, 1, 1, and end the quotes and go back out. Put a last quote just like that, and then parentheses and hit enter. Now this is gonna bring in everything where the date is greater than January 1st, right? Which is correct, but it's not quite what we need. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna copy B all the way until the, the last, the second to last quote. I'm gonna add a space here afterwards. I'm gonna paste it in. Now I'm gonna change this to less than and then change this date to 30, 31. So now what it's saying is select all where B is greater than date of January 1st and it's less than where B is less than the date of January 31st and hit enter. Whoops. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put an and. It's very important, okay? So always put in an and when you, so now it says select where B is greater than the date and B is less than. So you have to put the and in like that. 
sorry, I forgot. So now it's only going to bring in data that's less than the 31st of January, which if I look, it only goes until the 4th, right? So that's correct. And let's say I want to do that for February. I can just duplicate this and I can change this name to Feb, right? Now I can change this date to two. And then the last day of February, I think is like, I don't know, 28. Now this is only going to show February. So this is basically how you do it. Um, it's pretty easy, but if you're not familiar with it, it can get a little complicated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you guys this piece of text, which is very helpful for me. Um, I can just put it in a new tab called, I'll just do that. So you guys can just copy that in here. Um, date text. So I'll share this exact doc with you guys. So you guys can kind of look through it and kind of um, go through the formula yourself and figure out exactly how to use it. Um, yeah, so just make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this. And if you have any other questions, um, just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to try and answer them. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.